This residential school is a monument to a dark time. Countless Aboriginal children were forced to live here and forget their native language, their culture, and even their family. Survivors of that trauma now provide tours of the building to teach about Indigenous culture and how historic trauma continues to harm Aboriginal children today. And even where you hang your jackets and stuff is still there, right here. Leah is one of those children. Her father's traumatic childhood experience reverberated into Leah's life in horrible ways. There was a lot of screaming, crying. There was a lot of things I didn't want to see that I saw. It affected me as a little girl, as knowing that how a parent could be so monstrous to do that to their own child. Leah was taken into care when she was four years old. Tragically, her foster home was burned in a fire. Everything Leah cherished was destroyed. Then, the foster mom she loved passed away when Leah was just 11. All this turmoil took its toll on this young girl. Kind of was really bad in school. I didn't really care about life then because I was just so down and in a dark place. So I just didn't really care what was going on around me. When she was 15, Leah moved into a home with a new foster mom, Diane, a Métis woman who lived through a difficult youth herself and understands what it means to leave heartache behind. She helped Leah reconnect with her Aboriginal roots, teaching her about Indigenous traditions like this cleansing ceremony called the smudge. I think it's important because that's where she comes from, right? So I think that if she was interested or gained the interest to learn about their culture, that it's her given right to know it. Here in Diane's home, Leah learned what it feels like to be safe. She got serious about school and achieved her high school diploma. But most importantly, Leah has learned to be proud of who she is and where she comes from. She's learned all about her heritage and celebrates it. She loves to attend round dances and powwows and feel the drum. And so the creator took the drum and the stick and he went, and he said, together, It'll be the heartbeat of my people. It gives me a sense of my own identity of who I actually am and like my background and where I came from and like that, I, that there's really nothing to be ashamed of, of not knowing where I used, where I used to like fit in and my identity. I want her to succeed in anything and everything she wants to, to try in life because she is so full of life. That girl could do almost anything, anything she wants to do.